Hi, it's Thursday. And I want you to listen to me carefully. The ultimate goal of Christianity is not to get to heaven. It's to be like Jesus. Jesus said, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. Imitate me in the way I spoke to people, in the way I served people, in the way that I taught, in the way that I took initiatives in, in building relationships. If the Christian church would understand that, many, I believe, would run to be part of this Jesus movement. So this week we've been talking about serving and Jesus left us the example. In John chapter 13, uh, in his last night with his disciples, as he was celebrating the Passover, he washed his disciples' feet. It says here in John chapter 13, starting from verse 12, Jesus said, so when he had washed their feet, taking back his garments, he sat down again and he said, do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and I have washed your feet. You now ought to wash one another's feet and that you should do as I have done to you. Most assuredly, I say to you, a servant is no greater than his master, nor is he who is sent greater than he who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. And so here's some biblical principles that I want to high underline in, in this lesson. First of all, um, to serve, you need to be secure in who you are. Here is Jesus, the King of the universe, God, who served and, and bent down and washed his disciples' feet. You need to be secure in your identity. Many of us, we, have, we suffer from low self-esteem and, and sometimes we serve because uh, we want to feel accomplished. We want to feel like, like, uh, like we belong or, or we have purpose. But no, we don't serve be, to receive. We serve in our identity of being a child of God. And for those of us who are Christians, a follower of Jesus Christ. So here, the first principle to serve, you need to be secure in your identity. The second thing, we love people when we serve them. It's very easy to say, I love you. It's very easy to be polite and gentle, but to love someone, you need to serve them. Here is Jesus. He is serving Judas, who in a couple of hours was going to betray him with a kiss. He washed the disciples of, he washed the feet of the disciples who denied him. Not just Peter, all of them ran away. So in order to serve, you need to love. And if you say you love someone, you need to serve them. The third principle that I get from this is that we lead by serving and by serving, we lead. So Jesus left the example to us. He was leading. He was leading. He was teaching us, look, follow me. As I serve, I'm leaving you an example. I want you now to go and do the same. So today, as we are on Thursday, <laughs> I want you to do something today. So we, you, I, I challenge you to serve your family. I challenge you yesterday to serve a friend. So here's the challenge today. Just as Jesus served Judas, who betrayed him, I know you know someone who hurt you. You know someone who has betrayed you. You know someone who has caused you pain. I need you to pray about this. And I need you to, to ask God to give you the opportunity today to serve them. Oh, I can't do that. Well, the Bible teaches us I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. See, Christianity is not about going to church and just reading your Bible and memorizing Bible verses and knowing the doctrines. The goal of Christianity is to be like Jesus in all ways, including 
serving. And that's my thought as I sit on my yellow chair. God bless you. See you tomorrow.